Well, how's it going there? It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps, a simple little app review show here in Techno Buffalo, and now Rev3. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a productivity application called Zigzag Boards. Since its release, and even today, the iPad is considered to be more of a for-fun device versus a no-nonsense business tool. As far as gaming goes, the iPad has somehow found itself sandwiched between the PC Flash gaming experience with more traditional portable gaming devices like the Sony PSP. Besides all the fantastic and interactive gaming possibilities of the iPad, it's also a very capable and very powerful personal productivity device. While browsing through the productivity category in the App Store's library, I found a free whiteboard application that caught my eye, Zigzag Boards. Zigzag Boards, or Zigzag for short, as I like to say, is a very simple and very handy whiteboard application that transforms your ideas and creations into versatile vector points. Not to mention it takes full advantage of the iPad's magnificent screen real estate and the superbly smooth touch experience that the iPad has to offer. Unlike more traditional whiteboard applications or even drawing applications, you'll be able to select specific strokes or even the graphics as a whole and scale them as large or as small as you want to without sacrificing any quality. Just like what you can do on more advanced computer graphic programs like Adobe Flash or Illustrator. Zigzag Boards has two main tools, one to draw and one to select. That's it. One tap uses the tool and two finger taps changes them up. That's really all there is to it. The simplicity of it all means that the user focuses less on fidgeting around with menus, tools, options, and widgets and whatnot, and just, you know, uses. The main feature of ZigZag, of course, would be its live collaborative feature. It allows multiple users on either iPads or computers to collaborate, edit, and share ideas and opinions. This all happens wirelessly as ZigZag Boards handles all of this creative awesomeness over the internet. And if no one's available to collab with you, you can always just send off your ideas via email with a couple simple taps. After using it for a while, I noticed that Zigzag Board's uncomplicated and simplistic nature is sort of like a double-edged sword. The fact that it only uses two tools makes it kind of limited. You can't paste or embed existing images or screenshots like most drawing apps. You can't draw shapes and you can't add text. Most of the missing functions I just mentioned aren't absolutely necessary, as you can just draw them in yourself. But it would definitely help your collaborative ideas look a little less chicken scratchy. Even though Zigzag Boards is missing some basic and practical features like text input and shape tools, the ease of use and the smoothness of it all more than makes up for it. Which is why I personally give Zigzag Boards a 4 out of 5. And the fact that it's free makes it that much more awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Zigzag Boards for the iPad. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm.